Lost time, baby. I just want to play as the lost. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Let me just like almost immediately walk into an enemy and uh, end it right there. I guess I just have those tendencies still, huh? I just I just want to play this guy, man. I want to keep it interesting. want to keep it fancy, you know? I've, I've, I've had the thought realizing like, wait a minute. If I'm going to be making Isaac videos every damn day for the foreseeable future, and you know, when this video goes up, it'll have been two weeks. Uh, how the hell... Am I gonna keep it interesting? I'm gonna get bored of this eventually, right? Well, playing as uh, tougher characters that you tend to have better runs with is probably one way of ensuring that you won't get as bored as quickly. Maybe, just maybe that will work. At least that's my hopes. <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. I cannot afford to get hit here. Please give me a second. Okay. Who knows? I, I There's probably gonna be a point at which I'll like try out mods and, you know, uh, maybe I'll start another file and get dead god on that or something if i feel like it and i feel like putting myself through the torturous treacherous paths of playing characters like jacob and esau again okay that's good i'll take rosary but you know for the time being i'm i'm happy with this i'm happy with having uh cool crazy runs and we'll see where it goes right it's just the lost i i do have one goal for this run and that is to actually take devil deals for once i, I did it last run too um if you watched yesterday's video but for the most part, it really is mostly about wanting to get some devil deals going. I would- what I wouldn't give to have, uh, Damocles on a lost run for once, because guess what? I have never gotten that before. God, if I could get Damocles on a on the lost? Oh boy. What a life I'd be living. What you got for me? And Nope. It is better. It is literally better than- low haunt but it still leaves a bit to be desired and oh, thankfully there's enough rooms to you know keep this going keep this rolling don't you even dare spawn spiders on me who do you think you are you're not the creator you're a dubious little critter intent unknown oh i don't like guillotine but i'll take it the dps up is quite significant and i think i can live with the confusing nature of the orbiting head. Because at least you get spectral tears as a loss, so it's not that bad, right? You can fly, you got spectral tears. Uh, so positioning yourself in a way where the tears actually still hit and stuff isn't that bad. You won't get them blocked by random rocks and stuff. Uh, uh, be careful. <laughs> it's it's only baby plum. But you don't wanna you don't wanna die to this easy level boss right away. There you go. Yeah, dodging is a bit harder with the 18 as well. You gotta dodge where your body is, not where your head is. Which is, uh, a bit disorienting. Just a, just a tiny bit. There's the Bible. Get that knocked out early, I guess. And Ragman. It's the one that doesn't spawn anything but spiders, I think. He just spawns, like, little, little baby spiders. That's all he does. Ah, what the heck? It had so much speed to it, that homing tier. What the heck? Alright. I mean, sure, might as well, right? What we got in here? Lusty blood. Hmm. Azazel's rage is completely uninteresting to me. Honestly, roll me. Can be conception I can't use. Uh, so I guess it's just Guppy's Collar. Unfortunate that that is all we have to live with, but so be it. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll the Bible, though. I'll save the money for the next floor. Potentially get something there instead, because this shop was not particularly interesting. I'm just getting tears up, so I've hit the tier cap. It's floor one. About to enter the third floor of the game at max tier rate. That's, that's a new one. <laughs> can't say I've done that before. There's my item room, which has a joint piece or a random piece of shit item. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like the need, like the urge to just like swear there, to be like so aggressive about it. Ah, this random piece of shit item. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Why would I be upset about it? What's there for me to gain to be upset about? Uh, yeah, I'll take There's options. Okay, give me the magic skin. Show me the magic. What you got? That's decent. That's, that's not a horrible item. However, <laughs> I have access to rerolls. So why would I not, you know, at least try to fish for something better here? If it disappears, it disappears. Uh, it would be a bit unfortunate because, you know, odd mush is nice. But it wouldn't be the worst. Uh, you know, it would disappear knowing that I tried to get something that could have potentially been way better and single-handedly win me the run. So... Why wouldn't I take the opportunity? That being said, I'm not going to do it just yet. I'll use this role in the boss slash devil deal that I will potentially get after this. So, you see, these are actually good. And I'm probably just going to take ceremonial robes and live my life happily ever after. <laughs> so I can re-roll here instead. 
Boom. Okay, sure. Squeezy's probably not gonna do anything for me. Yeah, I'm at the tier cap. Oh well. <laughs> oh, oh well. The reason why I can wait on rerolling the uh, secret room is just because I got the mirror sight, right? I can get way more charges over there. Uh, you get you get rerolls out the out the ass on this floor. If you're if you're the last of that eternal d6, so I might as well. Sausage is by all statues of measurement a better item, and I will take it because. While I can get another roll, I am unlikely to be able to use it here. <laughs> like, or to get much use out of it. Because I also want to re-roll the item room or the boss room that's on the mirror side. Plus, sausage is good. And if I lose it, I'd be kind of upset. I'd be upset about missing out on all these stats that I just got out of that. So, it's just wonderful. Synth oil is great. I don't even have to re-roll that. <laughs> we're, we're, looking, we're looking mighty fine here already. Just off the sheer power of these stats that I've been given granted here. Then again, it is a last run, and I have one of the most disorienting items in the game, so there's a good chance that I will just walk into like a, do a blue fire without mantle and die within the next two floors. So basically, I'm trying to say is don't be too attached. Mm. All right, that's fine, I guess. It's a very linear floor right now, huh? The illusion of choice is, has been presented before me. Every diverging path I take only goes one deep. Well, except for, you know, this one. I don't know about the other one up there, but still, I'm assuming it just do. I'm assuming it just does. No, okay, it actually does diverge here. This has to be the way to the item room. Oh my god, it's a dead end! What the hell is going on here, man? I'm wasting all my potential charges. I mean, it's not like I have a choice in the matter, but still, what the hell is this, man? Yeah, there's all my special rooms just lying around here. Mom's bra, come on. Bozo! Doesn't really do much for me, does it? It's a 0.1 damage up. I did get a Devil Deal, and it has Krampus. Oh, what you got? Lump of coal. Cool. Fine by me. You know what? what's messed up here? I've been getting exclusively tears ups. The screw doesn't do anything for me. Booster pack isn't worth taking, but, well, actually no, it is. Because <laughs> what if the cards are good, right? Ace of Spades, Joker, Judgment Chariot. I'll just carry the Joker card, and I guess I'll re-roll my item room. I'm sorry, Bozo. Any other run, I probably would have taken you. Not on the last, though. Mmm, unfortunate. Yeah, let's go all puff. Screw it. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I don't know. Probably fighting Clutch and dying because I have no idea how that boss works. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, everything's fine. Man, they really shouldn't have added something like eight months after Repentance came out. Because i that's when I played Repentance. When it came out. And not eight months after. And then I stopped playing for a while. And then they added Clutch. And I was like, how the hell am I supposed to fight this guy? I don't know how he works. Hmm, Sacrificial Altar. I don't have any familiars, do I? Like, does it even have any use? Not at all. So... See ya. Yeah, okay, a fame is good. <laughs> a fame is pretty good. Yo, Guppy's head. Huge. Second Guppy item, just like that. Oh, technology? Uh, yeah? Holy crap. Now we're starting to see some, some crazy stuff going here, man. Now we're talking, man. What you got in here? I don't need tears. So, okay, well... I guess that's that, then. Fuck it. Yo, worm friend. Love me some worm friend. Tough twins. This should be easy. Especially with piercing. There you go. That's one of them dead immediately. I did get a deal. There is a stapler. Lovely. Lovely. Take that. Uh, where's my deal? There it is. Uh, that's void. That's why I'm dancing. Void isn't that exciting, I'll be honest. And death's list is just kind of underwhelming. Uh, yeah, I'll take backstabber. Man, this rapid fire tech is doing beautifully. I mean, I do have like eight damage. I've just gotten, like, exclusively decent items. I've gotten nothing crazy good, but I've gotten nothing terrible either. I've just gotten decent items. That's all this is, just decent. World's most decent above average run. That is Botfly, I think. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely take that. I have nothing that benefits from high luck, and yet I'm hanging on to perfection just on the off chance that I will get something that will benefit from high luck. How did I not get hit there? I don't really know. I'm just built different, evidently. Well, I already know that Botfly is the mystery item, so I'm pretty sure, unless I got it completely wrong, I should just take it. Yep, it is Botfly. Cool. Yet another quality 3 item to add onto the massive pile of quality 3 items I've gotten this run. Now I should take member card and see what's down here. 26 cent pageant boy is actually like insulting. A 25 cent pentagram on the other hand is almost a bargain. <laughs> I got a roll right now. Wouldn't mind finally using this Joker card that I've been holding on to for so long. Hey, and I get to. Uh, none of these do anything for me. Wait, I had the occult is kind of crazy with tech, isn't it? 
Yeah. Okay, mouse aiming time. <laughs> you definitely use mouse aiming for this one. An arcade, which... Champion build. Oh, I need money. <laughs> I need money so badly. You know, I have golden glitter bombs. In theory, I guess I could farm infinite money. Couldn't I? Because glitter bombs will always drop a consumable when you blow something up. And because I have golden bombs, I can just do it forever. That would be kind of funny. Though, you know... Am I going to do that? Do I have the patience to do that? Hmm. Am I really going to be doing this? Like, I'm going to be spamming bombs, hoping for glitter bombs to pay out with coins. I can get cards out of it, too. Oh, my God. Surely they thought of this, right? Surely you can't just farm with glitter bombs infinitely, right? Because it seems like you totally can. Oh, hey, inverse moon card. Yo, okay. Man, maybe this has paid off already. <laughs> ah, yeah, I shouldn't have wasted my charge, but I guess, you know, what can you do? They're not paying out anymore. Maybe I'm just unlucky, Copium. Maybe the game has realized what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and it's like, hey, now, buddy. All right, fine, I'll take blood clot. And because I can't buy the pentagram, I guess I'll just uh, get it twisted and gamble. Hey, hey. Aw. Having both techs would have been cool. <laughs> speed up. I could use a speed up. It's not like these bosses are going to be tough, considering my output. Like, what are you going to do? I even got the backstabs on you and everything. Jesus Christ, a fame like, procced like crazy on that final bit there. Greed in the secret room? A uh, steam sale? Okay, I should have rolled that, to be fair. But I still have a shop, and I still have a member shop as well. So it's not, like, the worst idea to take. Yes, I was a bit eager. I should have rolled it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I immediately recognized my misplay. But it's not the worst misplay known to man. It's not like I threw the run. But what if it was death certificate? Well, you want to go check out the seat yourself? There you go. XJ, XJ, A9, NE. You want to check it yourself? Feel free. <laughs> 10 damage tech is just kind of kind of nuts. Obviously, I of the Occult helps as well. Because it's just so cool. Like, you can like aim your laser however you'd like. It basically completely negates the downside from the guillotine as well, which is great. BFFs? Uh, don't really know how that does anything for me. I don't think eye drops does anything for me, because I am at the tier cap. I don't... I don't need that. No, I can do better. <laughs> I can do better than that. That's that's still kind of uh, not necessary. Whatever this rolls into, I guess I'm just gonna buy it. Okay, nothing. Cool, I'm gonna buy nothing. I guess I'll get BFF then. No reason not to. Might as well get another battery charge for the... Right, for the, the devil deal. Yeah, this is not gonna be the fastest mom kill, but it's still gonna be a pretty quick mom kill regardless. A fame helps as well. Let's see. Oh, okay, yep, that is a twisted pair, baby. That is so cool. That is so cool looking. Let's take the negative. Oh, baby. That's cool, that's cool. It looks pretty cool, man. This is cool. Oh yeah, they get affected by BFFs, don't they? Oh my god, I feel so vindicated in taking BFFs now as well. They're gonna do like 50% like extra damage. Okay, well, here's the funny part. I would have gotten spun, I guess. <laughs> oh well. 13 luck. Still not a single luck-based tier effect, by the way. Not a single one. And at this stage, I'm starting to believe that I might never get one. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised. It would be quite funny if I just never end up getting one. I'm committed to the perfection here. I got no reason to keep it. I am committing to it. I just have like, the, the lasers are so cool, man. They, the way they just like, home in on the same area. I'm pretty sure, let me get this right, right? Of the Twisted Pair, each one of them shoots tears at 75% of your base damage. So overall, taking them is a 1.5 times damage up or something like that. But now they also do another 1.5 times because of BFFs, or even double damage. So, it, almost assuredly, the lasers from my Twisted Pair are doing more damage than the lasers I shoot out of my face. That's pretty powerful. That means each shot hits enemies at probably approximately like 50 damage or some shit. That's pretty nice. I... I gotta say. And I haven't even gotten like anything wild yet that like, you know, modifies that even further. I haven't gotten any damage modifiers. I haven't gotten tier multipliers or conjoined or anything like that, so like... Yeah, look at that, man. Okay, I guess I have Backstabber, but that's about it. Damn. We're going down. 
<laughs> this is gonna be a quick one, I guess. I mean, quick I say, it's only been 38 minutes. But this one felt like quick, right? Because it's the first one I'm doing in this session. <laughs> it's literally, I booted up the game, was like, hey, let's play the last today, and here's this run. Which I really, like, play in the evening more often than in the mornings. Not only am I more tired in the mornings, uh, well, or the early afternoon. That's the morning for me. I know, I know, I know. Shut up, shut up. But also, uh, am I, not only am I less tired in the evening, but I also apparently have better luck. Maybe, maybe the luck, as people were saying back in the day, in this game really is tied to your system clock. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, I could have died in this room. <laughs> I was too busy going off on like a tangent about the system clock or some shit. Like, what the hell am I talking about, bro? Brother, what the hell are you talking about? Just play Isaac and shut up. Or don't, I don't know. I don't know why people watch these. Do you watch him to see the wacky run or do you watch him to see me talk about random shit? I will gauge this information and uh, act accordingly going forward whenever, you know, the comments reach this backlog. Yes, I have a bit of a backlog on these videos because it works in the workflow. In case you're curious, I usually record these videos two to three days in advance. I usually edit them two days in advance and upload them and schedule them. So there you go. In case you were curious, that's the inner workings of this godforsaken channel. Anyway, get me out of that room. Uh, get me- let me fight Satan. I'm sure this fight will take approximately 8 seconds, at most. We'll see- we'll see how long it is. I'll know in post, I guess, when I edit it. Hello, future me. Okay, it might be 8 seconds of real time if you don't include uh, the invulnerability phases in between. Yeah, let's- let's- let's go with that. Nah. Nah. You know what? Roll me. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, um, first of all, I can't believe none of them disappeared, but sure, give me the d6, whatever. Considering I don't have Mega Satan on this run, I will wait until I fight the lamp. Get everything I can, even if the lamp isn't a hard boss, you know, get the most out of it. Sure, I think this actually breaks the tier cap. It does. Huge. Huge news. Sure, at this point, that's 100% poison chance. Might as well. It's basically Scorpio. Hey, there's my other secret room. <laughs> Am I gonna take Ipecac? Oh, this is free. Yo, I get infinite rerolls. Yo, I get to do this again. I will consider taking Ipecac. Um, for the time being, I get infinite rerolls. So the world's my oyster again. Am I gonna do this whole shtick again? Ah, uh, it's a big floor. I don't know if I wanna. As long as the battery is close by and acts nicely, maybe I will. Basically, I'll- okay, I'll keep doing it until the battery decides to spawn inside the boss room. At which point I will not be able to grab it without- well, essentially ending the run. I mean, I don't have to end the run after killing the lamb, but you know. Effectively, it's the end of the run, unless the void wants to show up. All you need is a holy mantle and a golden battery, and you get to have boatloads of fun exploring the same floor for 18 minutes straight, seeing if you can reroll one item pedestal over and over again to get something funky. I even remember, can the golden battery disappear? I think it has a chance to disappear eventually, right? Alright, it does not appear to be anywhere, so I'm just gonna grab Epicac and we're ending the run. I am scared. That is a terrifying, terrifying laser synergy. Oh boy, I'm ready. Yep, the battery is in here. I assume this much. I can't pick up the battery now, because I will die. Oh my god, it did actually drop a void portal? Well, in that case, let's, uh, yeah, let's farm a little bit. How about that? I can do better than sand bo sad bombs. Uh, slip trip. You know what? Slip trip is defensive. I'll take it. But against, like, delirium, that's going to help a lot. And I'll take apple. I'll settle for it. Okay, no, there is one more item on the floor that I should reroll. You know, in the worst case scenario, I have to do this like 500 more times to roll through every single possible item in the game. I can live with Toxic Shock. Mostly because I just don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> I'm done. I, wa I want to like end this run. Either by going to the void and dying or just ending it by killing Delirium or whatever. This is where it gets interesting. Because we have instant vaporizing lasers. Kind of like that. Does Brainworm work with... um? With Eye of the Occult? It might. Why if I, like, miss on purpose? Oh, it totally works. Holy shit. I don't even gotta aim anymore. This is actually probably for the best. That way I can't accidentally blow myself up with a stray shot. And again, considering I don't have any luck-based effects anyway. Except for Apple. 
But even then, I'm, I I got decent amount of luck. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll be fine. Could this be Delirium? Perhaps. It's not. It's a boss at all two shot. Nine lives, okay. Oh yeah, Guppy as well, of course. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe I am unstoppable after all. I don't need tears ups. Why do I only get tears ups? Why has this entire run been exclusively tears ups? You know, not exclusively, but like mostly tears ups. Oh, hello. Ah. <laughs> That's fine. I. It's not like I can really die. I got nine lives. The run doesn't end if I get hit by a stray explosion. Hey, there's Delirium. Stomp his ass. I lost my mantle. I gotta be careful now. I got telefragged, okay. But look at the damage I did, man. Half of his HP, just like that. Okay, well, I know where Delirium is, so I guess I'll clear the rest of the floor. Broken modem will help quite a lot, thank you. Okay, I guess we're done here. Time to fight Delirium. Look at the chunk in him, dude. Holy shit. He's not transforming. Why is he not transforming? Bro. Bro, he just, like, stood there and took it. Okay, yeah. Way to make my life easier. Cool. <laughs> that was great. I love that. Great run. Wonderful.